Boys, you're alive. Arthur, oh boy, that's it. You're, you're alive. <laughs> Arthur, you're okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. <laughs> we got you. We got you. <laughs> So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked a local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Wait a That means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. Be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to see the crowd. As soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Gabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, dispárales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. 
people who knows well they got them chained and lashed but they don't look too dangerous excuse me sir who are our new friends here <laughs> criminales what crime did they commit insurrection <laughs> insurrection that's quite a word Cállate, señor fuentes Muévanse. todos Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David, everyone, follow me. Rick, David, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. <laughs> What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, 
Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusor? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting carefully.
Time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Go. Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that, Phil? Shh. One of her kills men. Quick. Hide. Over there. Te voy a decir una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Okay. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Look out. Let's go. Stay close. Another one. Hide. Quick. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of this door. Ratas? Criado por el mismo diablo. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Oh, 
Yeah. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with El Kud. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. Javier, well, we're uh, gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you want to go back to San Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, 
gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. If an insect bite you or something, cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. I scared that You know, wasn't Fusar one of the feathers Bronte pointed out to us at the party at San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. It won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, shit. Thought we had it. <gasps> Damn it, Arthur. <clears throat> just a... just a bit more. This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. 
we would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! ¿Qué hacemos contigo, puta? This way. They're all listening to that football. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Uh. Oh, me, Arthur will cause us a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. No buscan ser desleales, pero son igualmente traidores. Maldita guarma. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. ¿Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> I... Dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close those windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Create enough dust. 
This place will go. <coughs> Get this going. Soon, get ready to make a run for Javier.
okay? He's passed out. We're dead. Uh, he'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. You stay here. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go oh, quick. This will give us a chance to get to Hair Cool's port. I'll be through there. We did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fusa has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Oui. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn wash. You can't have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Let's get to it. <laughs>
Grab that shotgun out there. There's a lot of guns out there. So what do we do? I say we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. OK, then. Follow me. This is not fun. and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Bye -bye, then. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Cross. Like how many men is Fusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Down! We will have to climb up around the side. This way. Quick, look! Let's go and fight the Dutch. Cosa for now. I got him. Let's go. Come on! Man, you 
too many cannon. I'll get you some more shot. And by the water line, we need to put a serious hole in that boat. From here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the art. I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Hanale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. Get up here, Arthur. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, which is why you're going to... <laughs> enough? Oh, <laughs> I've had enough of this. Arthur, the rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? You're gonna die. Put your guns down. Save my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain said. Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it!
Hey, Vusa is up tight. In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Got it for you, Javier. <laughs> Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the top. Get any more surprise interviews with local officials? Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me, we'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we survived. Just about. What now? Uh, uh, what now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck has turned. You know, and I ain't turning back. I had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. That is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? You'll be all right.
Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Le Cay, a small village just north of Saint-Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. Milton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Someone is here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Worley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Easy, girl.